Well, hello guys and welcome back to another episode on the Saga channel. Today, for the first time after years of shooting all these episodes, uh, underwater anyway, on my GoPro, we're finally going to upgrade our camera gear. So in uh, the course of a few videos, I'm going to uh, slowly unbox the gear that I've bought to set up my own uh, semi-professional underwater camera rig. So um, cue the new intro and let's do it. So guys, it's finally happening after all these years of shooting all my underwater footage on a GoPro with a little tray and a light. Uh, I'm finally upgrading to a little bit more advanced underwater photo and video equipment. Now, um, we have shot a few videos in the past about using the GoPro to get somewhat professional uh, underwater uh, video and photo results and I'll, I'll link that video here. And I do stand by everything that I said before. I just kind of want to take the next step, right? So over the course of a few videos, I'm just going to slowly unbox and put my own uh, more advanced underwater photo rig together. Now, um, there's so much to be said about just using an action camera like a GoPro. It's, it's small, you can fit it pretty much anywhere, you can get really cool, crazy angles. The image quality, if you do the right thing, is, is really not bad, but um, yeah, there's limitations, right? We talk about those in other videos, um, but it is simply time to move on. So in this episode, we're gonna start by unboxing the uh, new photo camera and lenses that we bought for our underwater water rig and um, I just want to share my thoughts on why I chose those so um, for the camera actually maybe a little bit surprising the Panasonic uh, GH5 so GH5 is actually easily a three-year-old camera so why would I choose a three-year-old camera well I actually uh, I did a lot a lot of research I don't know if you guys are the same but before I make a purchase like this I just spent hours and hours and hours on Amazon YouTube just researching and um, I felt like I had to make a compromise there is just no camera that is both an excellent a photo shooter and an excellent video shooter at the same time and all my research came back to the Panasonic GH5 even after three years. So um, why the Panasonic GH5? Well, if you guys watch this channel then you know that actually, uh, sure, I like underwater photography, but I do also shoot a lot of underwater video and just video in general. And uh, this is actually a video beast. And that's my main reason. It, it does really take very okay photos, uh, much better than a GoPro, of course. But uh, the main reason is that we can shoot a 1080p video at 120 frames per second, which is what I like to do underwater. It gives that nice, slow, stable image. And um, it even shoots 60 frames at 4K. So that is really an amazing performance for a three-year-old uh, camera. So we have it right here, the body pretty heavy so uh, again I'm used to working very light kind of excited uh, to have something heavier uh, in hand and um, one other thing because I, I really did look also at the Sony um, a7 uh, 3 is that uh, the a7 r3 actually uh, but my main reason for um, for picking this is this bad boy right the flip screen so underwater that doesn't matter but I do use uh, my camera on land uh, a lot as well and uh, that's a feature surprisingly that a lot of cameras um, do compromise on and for me that's still very very important to that together with the uh, excellent uh, video performance uh, made me land on the um, on, on the GH5 and uh, price wise it's really not that bad I'll put a link below this video but because it's a three-year-old camera um, you can pick it up for a really reasonable price now with that uh, we need a lens of course and um, I went for um, it's Panasonic lens, uh, 1235, so that's a little bit wide angle, which is great for underwater, and then a little bit uh, tele um, f2.8, so th that's great. That's, I think, uh, for the price, 
uh, you get excellent quality underwater. You really do want a little bit of wide angle, of course. Um, the thing is that uh, the GoPro obviously does that, a very wide angle, but you get a lot of distortion uh, in the outside of the image. And hopefully uh, with a little bit of a better lens here, we can correct uh, that. So there we go, a beautiful lens. Um, let's install that here, let's see. So obviously, um, that's one of the reasons that I've, that I've kind of held off for a while here is, um, yeah, it's, you know, it's not just the camera, it's the lens. It just gets a little bit more uh, expensive and a little bit more involved. But this is definitely a beautiful machine. I could see myself working with that. Huh? Um, and so when it's wide angle, it's actually, yeah, this is really, really wide. I like that. And good autofocus as well. So uh, that's very promising. Now, Besides the GH5 body and the uh, Panasonic 1235 uh, zoom lens, I've also splurged a little bit just because I do want to step up my, uh, my game on the surface as well. I do like a little bit of portrait photography. So uh, after a lot, a lot, a lot of research, I bought this little bad boy. So um, that is the, uh, the Speedmaster F. 0.95 lens so a very 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 fast lens uh, which is going to allow us to get extremely shallow depth of field now just to be very clear we absolutely don't want to use this lens underwater that's not what it's for uh, the the extreme shallow depth of field is going to make that it's, it's gonna make it very hard to focus not to mention that this is a manual focus lens so we we, we won't be able to use autofocus, which makes it a little bit more difficult uh, underwater, that's for sure. Um, so this is strictly for the surface, but it's, it's actually surprisingly the toy that I look forward to the most. 0 0.95, that's an extremely, extremely fast lens, so we should get a lot of uh, bokeh that they refer to, um, so very shallow depth of field um, in the right lighting conditions. So I look forward to working with that as well. So guys, for this week, our camera, that's what we're doing it with, the Panasonic uh, Lumix GH5 with uh, the Panasonic 1235 uh, lens. That's what we're going for. Next week, we're going to add the housing and see how that all comes together. And then of course, the week after that, we're going to take it for some test shots. Um, but this is my kit. I'm very curious what you guys have. If any of you have uh, a more advanced underwater photography kit, I would love to know what it is you have and why also, so we can get that conversation started. Guys, as always, if you like uh, this kind of diving related uh, content, absolutely subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, uh, that really helps the channel and I'll see you next week for part two.